What is up YouTube, IDM here, and welcome back to another tweak video. Been having a lot of fun doing these uh, tweak reviews and guides and how I use tweaks and what you can use them for. Um, just a little input here before we hop into the tweak. Um, I am backlogging videos because I'm going on a 12 day vacation. So I'm just trying to backlog enough videos for you guys so you guys have something to watch every day from the channel. So I'm focusing on doing a bunch of different tweaks and how I use them and um, yeah the easiest way for me to do this is obviously with my stream setup um, I still have my nice camera don't worry uh, I will be using that again and doing videos like how I, how I normally do but it's a lot of fun to record like this and uh, we're just getting ahead in videos so that we can go on a vacation like I said but in this video we're taking a look at spectrum now this is a really cool tweak that allows you to colorize your iPhone system wide so as you can see, this is what my settings application looks like. I am using a preset. I'm using the Google preset. So it's kind of a gray tone to most of your applications. And I think this is a really cool tweak. So if we go into spectrum here, um, you have your enabled on off switch, you have your profile. So there are some different profiles you can choose from. I am using the Google profile. You can blacklist this in certain applications. So if there's certain apps, you don't want the colors to be changed. Uh, you can blacklist them. You have more toggles here for the springboard, the custom tint color, uh, custom dark colors, custom light colors. You have your global tint color, and then you have your system colors. Now, you can go crazy with this and go through and change all of these colors individually. As you can see, you basically can choose any color you want or input a hex code, which is really nice. Um, now, I'm not going to explain every little section here. That's If this is a tweak you want, just you know, download it and try out all of these different, you know, items here to see exactly what it's changing. Um, but you have your label colors as well. And then you have your other colors uh, there. But like I said, this works system wide. And if we jump into Zebra, as you guys will see here, as you can see, it has that same gray tone. I think it looks really freaking good. Like we go into messages here, same thing. We can go into activator. We have that same look, which just looks really, to me, I don't know, this gray with this font just looks amazing. And I really, really like it. Um, but of course, if we go into Spectrum, we can change the profile instead of changing everything individually just to keep things quick and easy for you guys. So I'll click Respring here. We'll do a quick Respring on the iPhone and you guys will see that now we have that purple profile enabled and the applications have more of a purple kind of tint. And even this one, I think that this looks good. I wonder what messages looks like. Yeah, even messages looks cool like that, I think with that color profile and zebra, we can see what that looks like. So very, very cool activator. Yeah, I dig, I dig the purple, the purple looks good too. So a uh, very cool tweak if you guys are looking to colorize um, your iPhone system wide. Of course, this doesn't work in every single application. Uh, like Tweetbot, I don't think it works in Tweetbot because Tweetbot has its own color profiles that you can choose from. So applications like that, it won't work in, but most of them it does, and it's a pretty awesome tweak. Again, it's called Spectrum. All of the package information will be down in the description. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick tweak review. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys wanna see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.